Hi everybody, Bert Kammerer here. I'm going to talk to you today about the Align Flabberless system. Uh, this is actually about to be released. I believe the first few units we're shipping uh, today to hobby shops around the world. Um, this is a very attractive unit, not only because it's got a really good price, but also because it's very simple, very easy to set up. And uh, it comes with, with everything you need to, to convert your T-Rex helicopters into a flabberless setup. As you can look at the box contents, uh, it comes with a complete rotor head, all bu built and ready to go. It also comes with your uh, mixing base and uh, some servo wheels that you can use to uh, adjust the amount of throw that you need um, from your servos to your bell cranks. And of course the flabberless control unit itself along with the sensor. Um, a line is also included, a, a, including a temporary flybar mount that you use to uh, Basically, you install this on top of the head and you use your stock T-Rex 700 fly bar to uh, use it as a guide for when you're setting up your pitch, your collective and cyclic pitch range. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to set this up. I'm not going to do a lot of flying with it. There's plenty of flying videos out there. Alan has several videos showing the cap capabilities of the unit. So instead, I'm just going to show you uh, an abbreviated version of how to set it up. And then I'm going to go ahead and take it out to the flying field and fly for a little bit and kind of give you guys my opinion and, and what I believe are the main differences between a fly bar and a fly barless machine. So you can see I just finished installing this unit and uh, I installed the uh, sensor and uh, the main control unit is sitting on the right hand side right on top of my switch glow here. The, uh, the head is also all completely installed and ready to go. This is actually uh, a no-brainer I did check the uh, spindle bolts to make sure they were tight and there was plenty of Loctite in there so Alain is doing a pretty good job with that. I still highly encourage you guys to take this apart, make sure there's plenty of grease on the thrust bearings and there's plenty of Loctite just to be safe. After everything's plugged in correctly, double check your connections. First thing you do is you're going to power up the receiver while you're holding the uh, set button on the flabberless unit. I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. and you wait on it, it's going to go through a startup sequence and it's going to enter setup mode. And you know you're in setup mode because the status LED will be lit, lit and the uh, DIR LED will be lit as well. When you are in DIR mode, which is where we're at right now, you go ahead and you set up your collective and your cyclic pitch range. As I was explaining earlier, the uh, box will have something called a fly bar mount that installs on top of the head where the head button goes and you use a standard T-Rex 700 fly bar and use that as a reference to set, out your, set up your pitch cyclic and collective pitch ranges so just, just read the manual uh, I'm running I believe 14 degrees of collective and about 11 or so of cyclic and uh, it's working really well for me there um, after you're done setting that up you go to the next step make sure you're in uh, you're at half stick at this point before you push the button again. You need to be a half stick, zero pitch. And you push the button, and that takes you to the elevator limit function. At this point, you advance the elevator stick all the way forward. You hold it there for a second, and then you let it go. And that teaches the system how much elevator throw your radio has. Then the next step is you push set again and that takes you to the elevator reversing setting and what you do at this point is you tilt the helicopter forward and backwards and every time you tilt it forward the swash plate should be tilting backwards. When you tilt the helicopter backwards the swash plate should be tilting forward. If uh, you see the swash plate correcting in the wrong direction then what you do is you move your elevator stick forward or back until the LED changes from green to red. Mine is actually working well on red so I'm going to leave it there. And you push set again and now you go to the aileron limits. Same as we did before with the elevator. You move your aileron stick this time all the way to the right. You hold it there for a second and you let it go. And that's teaching the system how much aileron input you have. And then you hit set again and that takes you to the final adjustment which is the aileron reversing same as we did with the elevator you take the helicopter you tilt it left and right and every time you tilt it 
left, the, the swatch plate should be moving to the right. When you tilt it right, the swatch plate should be moving to the left. Again, if you see it correcting in the wrong direction, you move your aileron stick until the LED changes color from green to red or red, red to green. Mine is working good and red right there is correcting in the right direction. Then you push the button one more time and you're basically good to go. So basically when you get to the field um, you start your receiver, turn on your receiver and you wait for the system to initialize and you'll see the swash go up and down three times. That means that uh, the flowerless system has initialized correctly. You, you need to see it moving up and down perfectly. If you see a tilting action when it's initializing, it means you missed something on the setup or something is not right. So stop, don't even try to fly it. Go ahead and uh, go over the setup as I explained previously and, uh, and redo the setup again and try it again. So, all right, so we're gonna fire this one up. The next step is you pick the helicopter up into a hover. And you get it into a stable hover and you basically look at it. If it wants to drift in any direction, it means that your gain is too low. Uh, in other words, if it wants to drift backwards, for example, like this, it means your elevator gain is too low. So you increase the elevator gain. If it wants to drift right or left, your uh, aileron gain is too low, so you increase your gain. Um, if it wants to oscillate, then your gain is too high, then you just drop it down. Um, and that's really it. This, this one's ready to fly. I didn't have to touch the gain practically. The gain was good right out of the box. Um, I'm not really gonna fly this much, there's plenty of flying online. Alan has flown this, uh, this system quite a bit. He's done a lot of videos with it. So there's really no reason for me to like show you how it flies. It flies very, very well. Um, just uh, flabberless systems typically fly very different than, um, than normal fly bars. Um, and I really have no way to explain to you how that is. You would have to like try it yourself to really get an idea. But uh, bottom, bottom line is this, it does feel very different, very, very different. I feel like it tracks better in big maneuvers. Um, if you go really, really big, it really wants to stay where you put it. Um, better than a fly bar, in fact. For small stuff, uh, tight, tight maneuvers on the deck, this has a very different feel. Almost like, uh, like the simulator where you feel like you don't really have to do much much of any type of corrections. If you are uh, a pilot that has been flying the fly bar for a long time, you might find it quite difficult to adapt. Um, but other than that, like I said, I wish I could tell you guys more about what my thoughts are in terms of differences between fly bar and fly bar less. But again, there isn't uh, a way that I can explain unless you guys try it for yourselves. Um, like I said before, a flybarless helicopter shines at this kind of stuff. Really big flying, fast, um, straight, symmetrical lines and stuff like that. It really excels at that. And another advantage of flybarless is the amount of power you get. Just because you don't have a flybar in there, um, most of your drag gets reduced. And uh, I'm doing these TikToks effortlessly. It's almost like uh, you have extra horsepower now. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and hope this is useful to get you guys started with your Align Flabberless uh, system.